So today we are going to be answering this very important question that says should you learn machine learning? Now everywhere you go machine learning, data science and related topics are being talked about. There is so much hype around machine learning. But the important question for you is should you learn machine learning? Actually this question is very easy when you simply know what machine learning is all about. And for many who jump right in to start learning machine learning, they actually don't know what machine learning is all about. So let me just give you a simple definition of machine learning and you quickly know if you should learn machine learning. And if you find, if you find out that you want to learn machine learning, I'm going to also discuss how to learn machine learning. So what is machine learning? A simple definition is machine learning is application of theories to make machines have human intelligence. So we want to make inanimate objects machines exhibit some form of human intelligence, okay? So one thing you can say from this definition is machine learning simply applies theories to machines, okay? The question now is what are these theories? Now I've discussed this in my videos, there are three fundamental theories of machine learning. There are three of them and you need to be familiar with these three theories and that will help you determine whether you can learn machine learning or not. The first theory of machine learning is the probability theory. Now you know that in human uh, events or in natural events, things happen randomly. So will there be rain? Will there be traffic, high traffic today? Or something like that. So there are human events that are governed by probability. Simply we don't know if they will happen or not. So probability theory is one defining theory of machine learning. So if you're having a self-driving car, will it have to speed up, will it have to slow down? It's going to determine, be determined by the probability of the environment around it. So one of the fundamental theories of machine learning is the probability theory. Now probability theory is also strictly based on mathematics. You have a conditional probability, you have the sum rule, we have Bayes theorem and a whole lot of them. They are actually strong mathematical theories. So it's not about when you have three red balls and five black balls in a bag, what's the probability of taking one of them and it's a red ball. Now these are the basics, just the basics, but there is much more to it. The second theory of machine learning is the information theory. Now what is information theory? Information theory is simply a way to represent information uh, using notation. So basically when you say x is equal to y plus z, that is information theory. So you may have heard of so, uh, mathematics like uh, fields of mathematics like calculus, algebra, a whole lot of them, geometry, all of them. For you to actually learn these fields of mathematics, you need to represent them in some notations, right? So these are abstract notations. Uh, you have some of them are logical, some of them are uh, they are in other ways, but but mainly they are represented in notations. So how do you learn mathematics? You actually use symbols and notations to learn mathematics, calculus, differentiation, integration, and a whole lot of them are represented using mathematical notations. So information theory simply have to do with using notations to represent information. And what is the last theory? Because I mentioned there are three different th uh, theories of, of machine learning. The last theory has to do with using these two other theories to now make decision, and that is simply decision theory. Now what is decision theory? Decision theory is a way to simply say if the probability is high, take this decision. So basically if you ask Google, for instance I can ask Google uh, do I go out with an umbrella today? It's going to tell me either yes or no or maybe I should or I should not simply because there is high probability that it's either going to rain or it's not going to rain. So probability theory simply takes, um, sorry, Decision theory takes probability theory and information theory uh, and come out with a decision that the machine can take. Remember machine learning simply makes machines take decisions uh, that normally humans are expected to take. So basically we are saying that these fundamental theories, don't forget them because these are the building blocks. We have the probability theory, we have the information theory and we have the decision theory. These are the three fundamental building blocks of machine learning and they are really very, very important. So now, one thing you can see from these theories is that they are, they are strongly based on mathematics. So if you don't have a strong background in mathematics, don't waste your time. 
machine learning actually involves a whole lot of mathematics, not the basics of mathematics, but the core fundamental theories of mathematics, of, of calculus, of, 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 of geometry, of logic. All this you have to have it on your fingertips for you to move forward with machine learning. So if you are not good in mathematics and you are not interested in mathematics, don't waste your time. Unless you have so much funds to, to throw around, well, that depends on you. You can still do it if you have your gates, but that will lead to frustration. But if you have so much determination like me, you are somebody who wants to fight and overcome challenges that you face, then go for it. Take a shot at it. Maybe you fail the first time and you can, you can move on and, and improve. So basically, I would, I would like to recommend what is machine learning. I've explained it based on three theories, strongly rooted in mathematics. The next question is, should you actually learn machine learning? If yes, if actually you've determined that machine learning is for you, uh, how do you proceed? So this I'm going to be talking about in my next video. I'm going to be telling you how actually to proceed in machine learning uh, depending on your background, if you're science, if you're engineering, if you're from other fields of humanities or arts, how actually do you proceed with machine learning? So I'm going to be stopping here. Uh, if you have any challenges, please do let me know and uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe, then you don't miss any update from me. And if you have uh, questions, please ask me and I'm going to be here to help you. So we'll see you in the next part.